Because it does represent everyone, not just because it's made of not just Indigenous people, but everyone that's here today. Aaron, the reason we asked you to come in specifically this week... Robbie Snars, if you were in trouble, then you would look to Robbie Snars to get you out of trouble. Uh, you kind of spearheaded this. And I think it looks pretty good, what do you reckon? What is it? It looks awesome. Uh, for an Indigenous round yeah. jersey for the Ellen It's going to be a real special day and I think, you know, it's exciting and we're looking forward to it. And, and hopefully this day can keep keep moving forward. He's not just a good footballer, he's just a good bloke too. So again, you know, same off field. If you're ever in trouble, you need someone to talk to or just be around, then Rob's your bloke. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've been here a long time and um, extra special, I think, been awarded a medal. You know, if I was playing and I happen to win one, I would love to get off Robbie Stars, that's for sure, because that bloke will do anything or bend over backwards for this football club and we can guarantee he'd be so honoured to have that named after him. We're still acknowledging the past and present Indigenous players of this football club. Um, the artwork shows uh, both old and new, uh, obviously before settlement and then after settlement. Um, the area, the Annabrook area itself is called the, the Wajak Ngoning tribe, which is part of the Murray Yalongonga tribe. Um, Wajak area stems from uh, right now Fremantle uh, right through to, to uh, Moore River, which is the border of uh, Wajak and Ewart tribe, and then extends out to the Darling Range, which is... These white dots. And they say that's the, um, when the rainbow serpent, the Woggle, um, died and laid to rest is the body of the, of, of the, uh, of the snake there. And uh, these circles here represent the... Campfires. That the old, old uh, our ancestors used to, you know, used to sit around and, and dance and celebrate and, and all the rest of it. And, uh, and, and, and now, nowadays, obviously, um, Alabunk's quite a vibrant area with a lot of young families. Um, you know, a lot of firefighter workers, a lot of people come to there. It's quite a big area. And, you know, they, they've got uh, the football clubs and, and other sporting areas. And these lines here represent the, everybody coming back to the actual Alabunk, Alabunk Football Club or the sporting, sporting club. And these uh, little spiky semicircles here, um, that represents the past and present uh, players. Um, these are actually uh, in Aboriginal uh, symbolism in, in art um, uh, footprints. So this represents uh, the past and present as well as the ancestors that have walked this land. And it all comes together uh, back to the football club. All coming and meeting back at the football club. Where everyone supports, the, the community supports the club and, and you have enough bringing um, young talent. And uh, yeah, and that's the future of the club. Right, you're in the sheds. Hit us up on Twitter at the sheds at eight five. Send us a message on Facebook. We're now joined by Aaron Powell, the Premiership hero of the Ellenbrook Eagles. Aaron, how are you, mate? Welcome back to the show. It's been a been a while. Yeah, thanks, Abbas.